We are in VirtualBox, in this case version 5, and I'm going to show you how to set up shared folders. Shared folders allows us to set up a folder that's shared between our host computer, where VirtualBox is running, and our virtual machine. So we can copy and move files back and forth between the host and the virtual machine. So first thing we want to do is we're in a virtual machine right now, and we want to make sure that we have the VirtualBox Guest Editions installed. Now you want to go to Devices and choose the Insert Guest Edition CD image, and then you'll see this little icon pop up. Now we'll go ahead and run the installation, and we'll click Next, and then now you'll choose all the defaults here. Next, 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 Install, and then go ahead and, and uh, choose all the defaults. And when it's done, it's going to restart your computer, and you'll have your Guest Editions installed. Now we can set up our shared folders. So sharing up fol setting up shared folders is pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to share the desktop on our host computer. So this is the host. It's a Windows 10. If we go back to our virtual machine, this is also a Windows 10. And we're going to set it up so we can copy files back and forth on the desktop. So what we do is go to Devices at the top, go to uh, Shared Folders, and click Shared Folder Settings. And we're going to click on Machine Folders at the top and click the plus button. And after that, we're going to hit this drop down where it says Folder Path. So we'll click Other. Now what this does is it links us to our host computer. I'm actually looking at files now on my host computer rather than on my virtual machine. So I said earlier I wanted to connect it to the desktop. So there it is. I'm clicking on Desktop, and I'm going to click Select Folder. Now I could choose Read Only, which means I wouldn't be able to make any changes to the host. But in this case, I don't want to do that. I want to click Auto Mount, so um, it'll automatically mount and make it permanent next time I reboot my computer. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and then I'll click OK. Now I'm going to click on my folder, my File Explorer, once again, and I'm going to click on Network. Now you may get a pop-up saying that Network Discovery is turned off. Click here to turn it on. So go ahead and, and click it and choose to enable it, and then after about a minute, it's going to refresh. If it doesn't refresh automatically, just press the F5 key, and then you're going to see this VBox Server option. So let's double click on VBox Server and look at that. It's showing my desktop on my host. Now, my host computer is not named VBox Server. It's just what VirtualBox decided to call it because it is the host computer. Let's go ahead and double click on Desktop, and we can see the same files here that are on my desktop. So all the different files that are on my desktop to the left, I can now see in my virtual machine. So from here, if I want to, I can copy these files. I can paste files, whatever it is I would like to do. So I'm going to copy this file from my host computer, and I'm going to paste it right on to my desktop. So there we go. I can also go the other direction. I can say New Text File. And if I want to, I can copy that and paste it into my host. And we should see this appear on the left-hand side of the screen after I click Paste. And there it is, new text document. So that is how we set up shared folders in VirtualBox, in this case, again, version 5. And if you would like to know more, just go ahead and take a look at the VirtualBox playlist that's on the YouTube channel.